polyamide. Carbon is an interstitial solute in iron. It diffuses much more rapidly than iron. Is it possible to have a displacive transformation in which just the carbon partition? I think so Lizzie. Do you remember when we were young, we talked about Twidman's tatten ferrite? Oh yes. You mean the plates of ferrite that grow in austenite at temperatures which are often above T0? That is right. The growth is accompanied by a shape deformation which is an invariant plane strain. But two plates grow together in a mutually accommodating manner. I guess the puzzle is how the crystal structure change is achieved by a deformation, but the ferrite never has an excess concentration of carbon, which partitions into austenite. It is not that mysterious Lizzie. The plates simply grow by a displacive mechanism, but at a rate controlled by the diffusion of carbon in the austenite ahead of the interface. I get it. This is a paramilitary transformation in which the large atoms are displaced but the small ones partition so as to achieve uniform chemical potential. That is correct. A similar transformation occurs in vanadium hydride, as was shown by Wayman and his co-workers. Of course, I remember reading about that. It follows that cementite can also grow by a displacive mechanism. Carbon in that case diffuses towards the carbide as it grows. Yes. One should not be surprised to discover a surface relief when cementite precipitates at low temperatures. Enough talk Lizzie. Aren't you going to Darwin College for lunch?